My name's Naomi, and I'm the happy bookkeeper. So, you're starting a business. That's great! If I had just two minutes to give you two pieces of really good advice, this is what I'd tell you. First of all, stay on top of your bookkeeping, keep it current. Second of all, don't spend CRA's money. In terms of bookkeeping, so many people think that bookkeeping is something that you do at the end of the year to see how much you owe, when if you do that, you're really flying by the seat of your pants throughout the year. You need to see monthly how your business is doing. Let's take taxes out of it for a moment. Monthly, you wanna know that your income is greater than your expenses, and if not, if that's something you need to correct. Maybe you need to negotiate better prices with your vendor. Maybe you need to start charging your clients more in order to be profitable. If you wait until the end of the year to like 12, 13, 14 months after the fact to find out that 12 months ago you should have raised your prices, like you could have been making money that whole time, but you were losing money. That's a, you know, you don't want to wait to the end of the year to figure that out. So um, stay on top of your bookkeeping. If you don't have time to get it done at the, like at the longest interval monthly, pay a bookkeeper to do it. If you can't afford a bookkeeper, well, you'll need to make time. Maybe do it daily, weekly, but at the longest stretch, monthly. Any longer than that, it gets bigger, bigger. Trust me. My second piece of advice is probably the most important. Don't spend CRA's money. If you're collecting taxes on their behalf, either sales tax or payroll taxes, you're a tax collector and just like medieval times, if the tax collector didn't give the king the taxes they collected, the king got pretty upset. So many people just don't pay attention to how much they've collected. They see a positive balance in their bank account and they just assume they're making money. And then at the end of the year, they find out, oh, they don't have enough money to pay CRA. Do you know what that means? That means you've spent CRA's money. If you need a loan, that's fine. You can go out and get a loan at a great interest rate. CRA's tr um, sales tax, that's not a loan. At no point in the transaction is that your money. So when you don't pay them, their interest rate is really high. If it takes you to, like if you're late in telling them how much you owe them, you get late filing penalties, more money that you're just throwing away. And not only that, it's CRA, they're the government. Whereas other people who you may owe money to can just keep calling you and affect your credit score, the government has the ability to freeze your bank account until you pay them. Even more so, they can actually, if they believe the money in your bank account is theirs, they can just go right in and take it out. And they can put liens on your property, they can affect your credit score. So. Don't spend CRA's money. Now, CRA is great. They're going to take that money and redistribute it. And they don't just freeze your bank account for no reason. Um, they do try to call you and reach out to you. You do go through the collections avenue first. But if you ignore them and you don't work with them, they can freeze your bank, scoop out the money just when you need it. So fair warning, don't be that business. Don't be that business that thinks that, oh, CRA is taking all my money. They're not. They're just taking their money. Why did you spend it? <laughs> Don't be that business is like, what do you mean I didn't make money last year? Like, pay attention and, and look at your financials and see how you're doing. Anyway, thank you. How long did I take? Four minutes, maybe a bit longer than two, but uh, I really want to give you the right type of advice to increase your chances of success a hundredfold. Well, thanks so much for your time and happy bookkeeping.